Hi, Soul Family. Sorry I skipped our last message, which was those who chose the watch. The male, masculine, very strong, very cool watch. Now, this watch does not have a rechargeable battery. A lot of batteries, they're, sometimes they're solar, sometimes they're the, the higher end that you use, it's movement, right? This one didn't have the right battery. It didn't have a rechargeable battery. It needed a battery to be replaced. It needed an Energizer Bunny battery, right? This watch, this person situation looked very expensive, but it was an imitation. It was plastic. It was probably needing a different battery because the battery that it was attached to before focused more on plastic, the way things looked. Looks great from the outside, but it's actually very plastic. That fell off. That's not a rechargeable battery. I like rechargeable batteries. An empath, a super sensitive spiritual empath is rechargeable. They're self-charging. They don't charge off of other people. Someone that needs somebody else's energy to charge them is an energy vampire. So this fell off. That fell right in the middle of my pathway, right? It's cool, cool to look at. It's good to look at, but it doesn't work. Now, this could have been, is this a male, a female energy with a very dominant, strong energy towards them, a female person, or is this a male person, a male energy that looks great on the outside, but it's completely plastic and feeds off of your energy. That fell off of somebody, which was pretty cool, right? I like the idea, like I said. I like this, this is a very masculine looking watch. It's, it's, it's cool looking. But the compass doesn't work. You can't direct that compass. It's, it's an imitation. This is a copy. And what, where I saw it, I didn't tell you, where I saw it laying, I saw it laying in front of this older man that is a homeless man, and he's an alcoholic, and he was talking to himself. I say hello to him every day when I go by. I'm not judging. People have post-traumatic stress. There's reasons why people end up the way they are. But this day I went by, he was completely out of his mind. He wasn't there. And he was talking to himself and I wondered if this was his watch. So what I'm going to do, I don't know that a homeless man needs to have a watch. He might want one. So I'm gonna get a battery and I'm gonna take it back and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him this watch. It was the closest to him. That was the only person that was near. It was on a trail. At the time I couldn't reach him because he was not in his right mind. So. There's many reasons why you might choose a watch like this. For one thing, you can wear this when you're working, right? You can put this persona on and it can look really cool on the outside and it, it's not, not valuable. If anything happens to it, you can replace it, right? You use this for work. I literally had a song come to mind. Um, this one goes out to the one I love. This one goes out to the one I love. And then it's the person's talking about this girl that's in their presence. This person's just part of my scene, right? This isn't who I love. This is just a simple prop to occupy my time. But this song, from my heart, goes out to the one I love. Interesting, interesting messages. I liked it because I don't, I'm not really hung up on expensive things. I really don't care about the name brand. Um, I probably, this little dial thing on here, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't use it. And, uh, I thought it looked cool. I thought I, I like it. I like the combination of, of strong and, and sensitive at the same time, right? But I've now decided that I'm going to take it back and ask that homeless man if he lost it. Did you lose a watch? And if he says no, then I'll keep it. If he says yes, I'll give it to him. I really don't know. We'll see. Anyway, there's your message. <clears throat> if you got anything from that, and uh, everyone, I'm sure they're going to be getting this, this reading and they're gonna, I'm going to be getting all kinds of messages from people. You know, oh my God, where's the last item? I didn't, you didn't, you didn't pick that one. So I'm uploading this at the same time. Your life is not real. It is a construct. Your life is not real. Okay. Hold on a second. Sorry. I'm, I am multitasking so I can get all of this done. You gotta remember to put Liger's crystal collar back on. I charged it on the Selenite. Selenite is a self-charging tower. It charges itself and it charges other crystals, which is what us 
the super sensitives, that's what we do. We're self-charging. We go out in nature, we charge ourselves. We don't feed off of other people, but we do charge other people. So we have to be careful to clear our, our energy and then recharge, right? In, in any way that we benefit the most from. For me, it's nature, right? For most people, it's nature. All right, so for the decks that we were using, we used the Divine Circus Oracle and we used the, um, the Animal Spirit Guide. Hi, Soul Family, how are you? We are not using the singing bowl today because I've got my work line on and uh, I actually started recording and we got bumped. So I took that, that uh, it was a chat. And it was good Come actually on. because it was kind of like uh, a warm <laughs> It could not be saved. All right, so <clears throat> apparently, for those who chose the Black Watch, the deck, Divine Circus, okay. I was looking at the shapeshifters and sometimes spirit changes changes my course, right? I was looking at the ship shapeshifter, how interesting. I was looking at the shapeshifter, but sometimes spirit changes my course. Dang, <clears throat> I'm getting messages here. So, so set an intention. What intention do you have for this for this reading? What is it? Is there something that you would like to know? My niece, Leah, wrote to me on Instagram and she said, Oh my gosh, a hummingbird came right up to me and flew right up to my face today and then it flew away. What does it mean? And of course, we had the hummingbird fly up in our last reading, if you guys were following the first reading. And uh, I had said earlier, remember, in, in the reading how that other person that had read said that Aries... Your energy is so intense, you're gonna push away the hummingbird you're trying to attract. And what happened? It flew right up. And I'm like, wrong, you're wrong. I'm not gonna push away what I am meant to attract. I'll push away what's not meant to be in my vibrational frequency. So that came up. Um, so for me, the message that I just said, I was looking at the shapeshifter, but sometimes spirit redirects me. And yesterday we got, there is a, something, a twist in your life you weren't expecting. So my intention is, show me what that is. Can you show me what that is? That's my intention for this reading. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the black watch, the time standing still. Wow. Wow. Sweetheart, emotionally battered and bruised. We, this is one of the ones we got already in this reading. So double emphasis on the fact that stop beating yourself up. Stop allowing others to mistreat you. Stop allowing others to disrespect you, emotionally batter and bruise you. Stop allowing that and recognize that you've got two wishes, one here and one down here. Ladybugs, ladybirds, your wishes will be fulfilled. But in spirit's time, it's about divine timing. And they're saying, it's time. It's time. The time is now. No more of this, of that plastic, too interested in, in outside appearances and focusing on material when you're actually totally cheap and plastic. That's fallen off. That's fallen off right in the middle of your path, but it's fallen off. Just like the chains that are breaking off me, the necklaces that are breaking off me, the bracelets that are breaking off of me. Those, those are not allowed anymore, Spirit says. This is on its way out. So this is about time. Spirit says it's coming to you. And for those of you who, who just skipped ahead, time stamped and didn't listen to the entire reading, I'll just give you a slight recap because we, and then I'm going to choose another because we've already gotten this one. But no matter how much somebody says that they love you, I love you, but they make you feel bad about yourself. They, they're the first to, cr to, to criticize you or put you down. They, they ignore you. You're the last one they call. And only if, if possibly you're paying, right? They're the ones that sit on the couch and, and you do all, all the work and, and you're not treated like you even count. You're told that you're strange or that you're weird. And so you've internalized and started feeling this way about yourself. You've already been emotionally battered and bruised and now you start doing that to yourself and then you don't forgive yourself. The time for that needs to stop. Stop because it's time for a treat. It's time for sweetness. Right now, this is about overhauling relationships, abusive, toxic relationships in your life that do not bring you the feeling of kindness and sweetness and gentleness and love. If you don't have love to bring me, if you don't have truth to bring me, don't stop at my door. 
song right now. Hey Ma, look Ma, I made it. And I took, this came up at the same time in the past reading. The song is about somebody who just wanted to be better, wanted to better their lives, wanted to strike it rich. They were so focused on success that they fell off their path. They fell on their path. They were so interested in the, in, in, in the plastic society. It was so important to look flashy and big and wonderful that they got caught up in the crowd. They got caught up in the drugs and the, and the, and the women and, and all of the narcissistic unfeeling uncaring behavior and they got beat up and they got they got emotionally beat or beaten and, and battered and bruised and they did it to themselves as well they got their way to the top and they were snorting cocaine cocaine and 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 passed out and, and, and not remembering where they are waking up in jail lost people in their lives that mattered to them walked and fell off their path well that fell away from this one that's what i like about this message that fell off that plastic need to have a shiny big look it fell away and then they started doing the same work that they did before but this time they didn't compromise their integrity they did it their way and they were successful and maybe they're not quite as big yet but they will be spirit says this is a time for sweetness this is a time for success and this is a time for you to stop beating yourself up if you were this one that was in this place stop beating yourself up and crying yourself into a sea of tears we're gonna give you an affirmation before I move forward on this one Sweetness in my soul, sweetness in love, sweetness in life, sweetness in light, sweets for the sweet, I am ready to eat, sweets for the sweet, here is my feast. I'm ready. I'm ready for sweetness. I'm ready for love. I'm ready for truth. I'm ready for my best friend. I'm ready for true friends. I'm ready for soul family. I'm ready for a change from this bullshit. You are not compromising. Visualize this, feel this, imagine this. Imagine this sweetness coming forward. Get ready. I talked about how my, my, my diet has changed. I, I'm not eating what I was eating before. And I'm hungry. I'm constantly hungry. And Willow is constantly hungry. She's got a very high metabolism. My, my, my body is moving higher. So that's what it's showing me. I've been riding my bike like crazy. My metabolism is working faster. And I'm hungry. But I'm not eating what I was before. I, I'm not eating bread and pizza and... and and uh, lard and, and sugars and sweet and all of that stuff that, that the same thing that with ducks, you feed ducks bread, don't ever feed ducks bread or squirrels or birds, give them rolled oats, they need nutrients, there's nothing in bread for them. It makes them feel full and all of a sudden their feathers start falling out. Remember that red shouldered hawk who left me his tail feather? They weren't filled with the substance that they need, something healthy. So I'm eating vegetables and fruit and salads like crazy. And I'll eat it, and about three hours later, I'm starving again. But that's what you're supposed to do. Little bits of quality, constantly. Don't stuff yourself with sweets and candy and garbage that doesn't give you any nourishment. And that goes for superficial people, right? Superficial things. All right. It's coming. It's coming. A sweeter road is coming for you, but first you have to be willing. And you've got to be the one to rehaul your relationships and say, Bye, Felicia, to the users. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Since we got one from here, ah, blessing in disguise. These two are amazing. The White Duchess. This is talking about, no, you have not made a mistake. The choice you made to walk away, you did not make a mistake. The rain is falling, but that's okay. This has been a blessing in disguise. Something wonderful is on its way. So do we use this deck? I keep looking at the shapeshifters. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. I keep looking over at that deck. I wish somebody would have told me, babe, that someday these would have been a good, these were the good old days. And I wasted all my time. I wish I had confidence in myself. I wish I'd asked her out. I wish I hadn't worried so much about what everybody else said. And I wish I'd done what I wanted to do instead of listen to you. How about that? I wish I had done what I wanted to do instead of listen to you. Secret of Shinobi secret this came up yesterday whenever you see the geisha or any Japanese themed situation picture thought movie it's telling you that your kitsune is close your best friend is close so this is telling you something about keeping a secret there's something that's gonna be under wraps for a little while the number is 11 it's a very powerful number Meaning, 
of number. It's a divine number. It's, it's the twin soul number. What is the meaning of the number 11? It's the most intuitive of all numbers. It is instinctual, charismatic, dynamic, and capable when its sights are set on a concrete goal. The number 11 is associated with faith and psychics. Now, what's interesting about the number 11, because I said when this one comes, right, whenever you see this, you know that your kitsune is near. A kitsune is your friend. And it doesn't have to be someone that's going to stay with you. It's just somebody that's with you for a time that's going to help you through. They may not, they come in, they usually come in the form of, of, of a red animal or Japanese themes. So a red squirrel, um, a red cat, an orange cat, um, a red haired person, or a Japanese geisha. And that person is there for a time in your life to help you. They don't ne won't necessarily stay. They probably won't stay in your life. So the number 11 negative characteristics are anxious, shy, stressed, conflicted, scattered. When their focus is not applied, they can be extremely self-sabotaging. It is a master number. This is the number of the masters. But when you're in reverse, you're this, right? The positive characteristics will turn into obstacles if you do not understand them or apply them properly. So let's go back to what a positive number 11 is. Dynamic, instinctual, charismatic, capable, set on concrete goals, associated with faith and psychic energy, right? A true master. So right now, the message is, shh. And this is interesting because I swear to God, I wish I'd taken a picture because I could have proven it. On the way home from here, from the dentist, I went to the dentist. On the way home, there was a black SUV in front of me and the license plate said, shh. That's all it said, and I was like, interesting. And now to get this, this message, this is the message. Shh, can you keep a secret? Can you keep a secret? It's time to keep your cards close to your chest. At this moment, soon enough, you can stand on the mountains and you can let everybody know, but right now, there's something that you need to keep under wraps. And allow whatever it is to unfold in the privacy of your own sacred domain. Right now, when the time is right, you'll know what you're meant to do. But until then, you have to be patient. You have to wait. It's going to unfurl. Song right now. I'm trying to pull you through. Try to be strong. I don't want to let you know. I'm looking right at the other half of me. The vacancy that sat in my heart is a space that you now hold. Show me how to fight for now. I tell you, baby, it was easy coming back to you once I figured it out, because you were right here all along. Remember I told you it's a twin soul number. It's like you're my mirror. My mirror staring back at me. I couldn't get any bigger without you, without you standing next to me, with anyone else standing next to me. Two reflections into one, you're my mirror. So right now it's about being less visible. I got this a little while ago, Spirit said, it's time to go down, it's time to get quiet, it's time to hide away for a while, and I squirreled away. I, I kind of went, went down for about three days, I, I, I kept very low, low profile. So right now, you need to be less helpful, less talkative, less visible at this moment, right now, at this time. Keep your intentions and your truths and your goals to yourself. Right now, instead of pushing and being aggressive, it's about the art of gentle persuasion. Isn't there, is there a movie called that? The Art of Gentle Persuasion. Just came to my mind. The Art of Gentle Persuasion. The Art <laughs> of Gentle Persuasion. It's kind of like with a deer. You don't shove a deer, you don't kick a deer, you don't scream at a deer. It's like my Sammy. I don't yell at Sammy. Sammy's been extremely traumatized. I'm very gentle, and very loving with him. I coax him, right? I coax him. The Art of Gentle Persuasion. I think I'll, I'll title that. Maybe it's, it's, oh my gosh. It is, it's a movie. <laughs> it's a movie. Yay. 1970, The Art of Gentle Persuasion. Who's in it? Oh, I have to watch it. I wonder if it's on, I wonder if it's on Netflix. Netflix? Please say yes, because there's clearly going to be a message. Oh my gosh, there's a series. Charlton Heston, Heston and Mark Anthony. What? What? 
Oh my God. The Square's classic bang stars as Count Dracula in the new Netflix series. Wow. I'm looking right at the other half of me. Sat in my heart is a space that now you fall. Tell me how to fight for now. I'll show you, baby, it was easy coming back into your figurative. Wow, this is amazing. Um, the Art of Gentle Persuasion, 1970, is... <laughs> oh my God! Now, there may be few of them. <laughs> Sex, hardcore. <laughs> the Art of Gentle Persuasion. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, I've got to find the other ones. This one. It's the graphic new approach to lovemaking. I like that. That's going to be our title. The Art of Gentle Persuasion is the, graph, the new approach to lovemaking. Because that's what you want. You want to gently persuade someone. You don't control them. You don't whip them. You don't berate them. You don't downgrade them. Right? You don't demand. Right? Song playing right now. I've got new rules. I've got new rules. This is all coming up for a reason. It started with the first um, message that we got about the sweetheart, right? New rules. Now, this doesn't have to just be between man and woman, okay? It can be mother, father, uncle, cousin, whatever. One, talking to my sleep at night, making myself crazy, out of my mind, out of my mind. I wrote it down and I read it out, hoping it would save me too many times, too many times. My love, he makes me feel like nobody else. Nobody else but my love. He doesn't love me. So I tell myself, I tell myself, one, don't pick up the phone. You know he's only calling because he's drunk and alone. Two, don't let him in. You'll have to kick him out again. Three, don't be his friend. You know you're going to wake up in his bed in the morning. And if you're under him, you ain't getting over him. I got new rules. Count them. I got new rules. I count them to myself. I keep pushing forwards, but he keeps pulling me backwards. Nowhere to turn. No way. Nowhere to turn. No. Now I'm standing back from it. I finally see the pattern. I never learn. I never learn. But my love, he doesn't love me, so I tell myself, yes, I do. One, don't pick up the phone. You know he's only calling because he's drunk and alone. Two, don't let him in. You'll have to kick him out again. Three, don't be his friend. You know you're going to wake up in his bed in the morning. And if you're under him, you ain't getting over him. I got new rules. I count them. I got new rules. I got to tell them to myself. I got new rules. I count them. I got to tell them to myself. Practice makes perfect. I'm still trying to learn it by heart that I've got new rules, so I count them. Eat, sleep, and breathe it. Rehearse and repeat it because I got new. I got new. One, don't pick up the phone. You know when he's only calling because he's drunk and alone. Two, don't let him in. You know you're going to have to kick him out again. Three, don't be his friend. You know you're going to wake up in his bed in the morning, and if you're under him, you ain't getting over him. It could be a guy that's so drunk that he falls on you. Your roommate is a drunk idiot. And you can't fix him. He wants to not fix himself. See, that's the problem. You don't stay in a mud puddle to try and fix a white horse. That white horse, that man that I saw on the side of the road, he's homeless because he continues to drink. He sat there with a bottle the night before. Now you could say, oh, he's got post-traumatic stress. No, he might, but he chooses to drink. I watched one of the drug dealers go up to him. He got something from them. Maybe it's an addiction. I'm sorry, I'm not going in that to pull them out. They need to want to have help. I'm not being, it's called hardlining. It's being, I've done my work, right? You do your work too. Don't be his friend. This is toxic energy. So for you, there's something coming for you. Maybe this is why you need to keep this a secret. You don't need to tell this one. This one is not your friend, right? They're going to try and say to you that they love you, that they're your friend, that you're family. You're family. What are you talking about? You're my best friend. No, no. I am your best friend. I was your best friend, but you were never my friend because that's not what friends do. That isn't friendship. Friendship doesn't berate, belittle, ignore, treat you like you're an option. That's not what a friend does. So right now, you can gently persuade. You can come with your heart on your sleeve. You can be and spill your truth. 
Because if you were that person that dropped that watch and changed your life, prove it. Prove it. But don't expect to snap back in to the same old place because I got new rules. It's not going to be that way. Homie, don't go that way. Not anymore. Right? So don't be confrontational. Don't make the, the if you're leaving, if you're leaving a situation, you want to keep this quiet. Shh. Don't tell. You don't need to tell them what your plans are. You don't need to tell them anything that you have in mind. Let them find out when you're gone, right? That's what seems to be coming up right now because if you are in this situation with this, like this, and this is why it came up, you're gonna trigger them. And when you trigger them, they trigger you. And then you get all started back in again and you need to break free, break free. This watch fell off for a reason, it's time. That drunk that was sitting there, I watched a cat, a black and white cat, that sat at a respectable dif distance from that man, keeping an eye on that man. But that man, he's done. He's not doing his work. He's, he's loaded again. He's loaded again, right? It, it's a cycle. And you can't stop the vicious cycle, but you can get off the merry-go-round. So right now, you've been frustrated with not being able to maybe get through a situation. Um, now, you could, this could be work. You've been trying to get to a certain situation, or maybe you've been trying to get through to someone, right? And you're not being either seen or acknowledged. Maybe it is work. You're not, you haven't been acknowledged. You've worked really hard, but you haven't been seen for some reason. Cherry on Top talks about that. There's a final step that needs to be taken. And there's going to be a time that you're going to be able to stand up and be seen. You will be seen, but right now, keep it quiet. Keep whatever it is quiet. And then you can move freely away without being stopped, without being halted, without being sucked in. Because as soon as a narcissist realizes or thinks that you're going somewhere, they hold on tight or they pour on the waterworks or they pour on the charm or they do everything and anything they can to stop you from going. And then you might be susceptible and falling back in because your empathetic heart isn't strong enough yet. I got new rules. I wrote them down. I knew what I wasn't going to do, but you're going to be tempted. Don't be tempted. And the best way to do that is by being quiet. So when it's time to show your hand and reveal your intentions, when it's time, spirit will let you know. And whatever that is that you've been working towards, you can openly publicize, but for now, keep it away from, from the ones that are lying, manipulating, and waiting for you to mess up. The ones that, are, that you can't trust, you know that you can't. You know that you can't. You know they're not your friends. You know it's not a good place. Keep it quiet. So let's do an affirmation here. Under the cover of sacred night, I know how to protect my light. And then you throw black over yourself. I told you why I wear black. It's protection, right? I am blessed with the intelligence and instinct to know when to reveal and when to conceal for my greatest good. My inner knowing tells me when to express myself openly and when to remain silent for the greatest good of all. The truest master knows how to keep a secret and when to open up their mouth. They also know who to trust. All right. There's your reading, you guys. That was pretty cool. I'll upload it really quick and get it out to you as soon as I possibly can. If you guys would like help with a private reading, I'm your girl, www.theangelswhisper.com. My email address is sherrycolumbus at yahoo.com. I would be honored. And anyone else who's new to my YouTube channel, welcome. Please click like if this video worked for you, if it helped you. And subscribe if you'd like to be notified. And also, please share these videos to grow this channel. I want this channel to grow. This is not a tarot predictive channel. This is a, a channel that is working with spirit, that is helping us work towards our highest good. And what is it that we need to do in order to get there? That needs to be shared with everyone. Love you.